Hey there guys, I'm Sonic Ghost, and welcome back to some more Let's Play Banjo-Tooie. Last time, we finished exploring Cloud Cuckoo Land, and we went back and got all the remaining Jiggies in all the worlds we've explored at this point. So now, we have basically 100% completed this game. So now, there's only one thing left to do. Let's go ahead and make our way over to Jiggy Wiggy's temple here in the Wooded Hollows, and let's go ahead and complete the remaining challenges that Jiggy Wiggy has for us. So, let's just go ahead and start things off by tackling challenge number 9. So, challenge number 9 here, this is going to be unlocking our final world in the game. This here is where Grunty went after she left Spiral Mountain. So now we can finally go to where Grunty is and confront her. So, let's just go ahead and work on just mainly completing this puzzle by taking care of a lot of the edges. As, as you can see in this puzzle here, it's kind of hard to make out certain elements because of just how Banjo's just kind of shimmy around this edge and just stopping a lot. So, a lot of the colors will kind of just blend in together on these pieces. So, focusing on the edges first is definitely the best strategy. Not exactly sure why Banjo's just shimmy around the edge here. It kind of seems very dangerous to do. Hopefully, he has a good upper arm strength right now to hang on because that'd be really bad if he fell. But there you go. That's challenge number nine completed. So now Jiggy Wiggy is going to be opening the way to our final world in the game. So we know exactly where this world is located. If you guys remember back in the Quagmire province in the Isle of Hags, we saw this area here where there was tire tracks just going up the wall. That is where Grunty went. So, Jiggy Wiki is going to be shooting his beam of light into the Quagmire province here to open the way to our final world in the game, Cauldron Keep. So there you go, that's challenge number 9 complete. And now there is one more challenge left, as we have enough Jiggies to complete challenge number 10. This challenge will actually unlock the way to the final boss battle in Banjo-Tooie. We don't have to do this now, but when we get to a certain point in Cauldron Keep, we would have to leave the world and come back here to Jiggy Wiggy's temple in order to complete this challenge. In order to fight the final boss here in Banjo-Tooie, we need 70 out of the 90 Jiggies. So, that is a lot of Jiggies, but luckily for us, we have more than enough Jiggies to tackle the challenge. So, let's go ahead and take on challenge number 10. So, challenge number 10 here is definitely the most difficult challenge out of all of them, as you have to complete the entire puzzle this time. And this one's a little bit hard to see, simply because this is a very dark room that Banjo's walking around in. So, it's not the easiest, really, to make out a lot of stuff in this puzzle. So... This is definitely one of those puzzles I will highly recommend you try to take care of the corners first and then work on the insides, simply because a lot of the inside pieces may look very similar to each other, so it's best just to complete the sides and then work your way to the inners. So, so far we're doing pretty good here, although when Banjo's is kind of standing around and there's a lot of darkness around him, it's a little bit harder to make things out. But this room may look familiar to you because this is actually a room we've seen in one of the very early cutscenes in the beginning of our adventure. So, you can definitely tell this is end game material here as Banjo made his way to where Grunty was in the very beginning of the game. But there you go, the puzzle's now complete, and now the final challenge is completed. Jiggy Wiki will be opening the way to our final boss battle in Banjo-Tooie. So normally, when Jiggy Wiggy shoots his beam of light here to open up something for us, he's interacting with something in the Isle of Hags, the main overworld here in the game. But this time, however, he's actually shooting his beam of light into Cauldron Keep, our final world in the game. So we're getting a little bit of a sneak peek here into one of the portions of Cauldron Keep. This door is the door we would have to backtrack for if we did not open it now, so... Opening this way to the final boss now is something I highly recommend you do. Excellent. You have proven yourself most worthy 
by opening all of the doors. A super special challenge now awaits. One that has no reward, yet it is the greatest test of all. Press B if you wish to try it. So just like Jiggy Wiggy said, there's no reward for doing this. This is just something that you can do now for fun. So let's just go ahead and tackle this extra challenge that Jiggy Wiggy has for us. Behold, the super special challenge. Now you will also need to rotate pieces by pressing right stick left and right stick right. I await your fastest completion time. So this one is just basically a race against the clock. We just want to complete this puzzle as fast as we can. And this is just basically bragging rights. So since now we have to rotate these pieces by using the right stick, this is definitely a puzzle I will highly recommend you focus on the corners first because this is by far the hardest puzzle in the game since you're rotating these pieces around just to try to get the things lined up. So you definitely want to keep yourself moving in this puzzle at all times and the best way to do that is obviously just to take care of the corners. If you feel like you can maybe take care of one of the center pieces while you're going for a corner piece and try it, but since we're on a timer that may not be the best idea. Accidentally grabbed the wrong piece there, so I'm just going to go ahead and put it down by pressing the X button. Here I'm going to go ahead and I believe this actually just goes here. I want to put this piece on down below. Now I'm just starting to stress myself out a little bit because of the timer. That's what the challenge can do to you. Since this is just a for fun thing, you don't have to worry about it. It can kind of creep up on your nerves a little bit because you just want to do as best as you can this final challenge. But we're just about there. We got two more pieces, so let's just go ahead and put these down. And then that's the puzzle. Jigtastic! I declare that the new fastest time of 71 surpasses the old record of 72. So, a funny thing about this challenge is that this challenge actually shares save data between the other save files here on Banjo Tooie. So, that record of 72 I just beat. The game just pulled that from my own personal file here on the 360 version of Banjo-Tooie. So the fact that I beat my old record by one second is actually impressive since I was trying to complete a puzzle while talking. Not the easiest thing to do in the world. So that's something you can do with your friends. So if you're playing this game and say your friend is also playing on the same system but with a different save file, you can actually play together with this puzzle and just kind of compete for the fastest time. Since there's no reward, you're just doing this puzzle for bragging rights, so that's pretty much everything here in Jiggy Wiggy's Temple. Now that we're done here, let's just go ahead and leave, because now we have no reason to be here ever again. As you see now, we can enter Jiggy Wiggy's Temple whenever we want, as this door will always be open now. The total to get in is zero Jiggy, so you can go in there whenever you want to do that extra puzzle, but let's just go ahead and make our way over to the Quagmire area here, and go into Cauldron Keep. So if you already explored the area here in the Quagmire area in the Owl Hags, as redundant as that sounds, to get to Culture and Keep. So we'll just jump on this jump pad here, climb up this pole, and then we'll make our way into the final world. It definitely helped that we were here earlier and just hit that switch to get the jump pad. So now we just walk into the front gates here and make our way into the final world of the game. So welcome to Cauldron Keep. This is the area that Grunty went when she was leaving Spile Mountain in the very beginning of the game. So here we want to go ahead and cross this moat, but we want to separate Banjo-Kazooie here as there is a Banjo and a Kazooie switch on the other side. So we want to go ahead and take Banjo over using his backpack and then glide over to the Kazooie switch here with Kazooie. Activating both of these switches will open up the drawbridge, but as you can see, even though we got the bridge down, there's a laser gate here, so in order to deactivate the laser gate, we want to go ahead and recombine Banjo-Kazooie and make our way around the back here. Here's a little Minjo just trying to stop us. We know you're fake because we got all the Jinjos in the game. Can't fool me, buddy. Step on this Banjo-Kazooie switch, and now we'll deactivate the laser gate. So now we can go ahead and make our way into this tower. So let's make our way back over to the front here and head inside. Hey, Kazooie, there doesn't appear to be anyone in here. Oh, yes, there is. The music's changed. 
Every time that happens, we always end up in a fight. Yeah. Klongo must offend Mistress Grunty Castle. Don't you ever learn? Klongo, clever, learn lots, has learned new potion. Is it as useless as all the others? Yes, uh, Klongo means no. Must win this time, or Mistress feed me to monster. <sighs> now not know which is real, Klongo. Uh, 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 stupid bear can't find Klongo. So this here is the cloning potion with Klongo. So we need to find the real one to actually do damage. So the best way to do that is to pay attention to which Klongo is moving, because whichever Klongo moves last is always the real one. So you have to be paying attention to that. So here I'm going to be looking out for the ones that are moving, and oh, well, he was in a cluster. I have no idea which one it is. I think it's this one here. Okay, we got lucky on that, because I thought for a second this was not the real Klungo. So he's throwing a lot of potions at us. I'm just going to take the safe way out and just use my invincibility here. He has a much better aim in this fight with those potions, so I don't want to take a risk. i seen the real one here. You can't fool me. Let's go ahead and attack him, and that's the fight. Klungo noticed something happening after fights with Bear and Bird. And that is... Klungo gets less and less handsome. Now Miss Klungo won't want me anymore. Klungo had enough. Future prospects not good with Mistress Grunty. No chance of promotion. No days off, no pay. Klungo go find easy desk job. Maybe make stupid games. Wow, uh... Good for you, Klungo. Wasn't expecting that kind of change, but hey, man. You do you. You stand up for what you believe in, sir. I am very much for this. I will support you 100%. He now quit his job. What a way to go out. So that was our final fight with Klungo. He was guarding the way here to get to Grunty. And now with him out of the picture, we can go ahead and confront Grunty once and for all. But I think with that said, I'm actually going to go ahead and end the episode here. Next time on Let's Play Banjo-Tooie, we're going to go ahead and make our way through this door and confront Grunty face to face. I'll see you guys next time.